The farm bill started out as a way to help struggling farmers after the Great Depression. Today, it's a complicated set of food and farming rules that cost the federal government $97 billion a year. And the two chambers of Congress don't see eye to eye on how those dollars should be spent. Here are five parts of the farm bill that Congress has to sort out by January 1st to keep food prices from going up. First, food stamps. Right now, about 80% of farm bill funding goes toward food stamps. For the last few decades, the subsidy has been included in the farm bill so that lawmakers from urban areas would vote for it. The Senate says it will cut about $400 million from SNAP every year. But the House wants to cut a lot more. And it wants to change the eligibility rules so that fewer people qualify for food stamps. Second, direct payments. These are subsidy payments that started in the 90s as a safety net for struggling farmers. They were supposed to shrink over time and eventually end, but Congress renewed them twice. Today, the government still spends about $5 billion on them every year. And some of that money goes to farmers that don't actually grow any crops. The Senate and the House both want to get rid of direct payments, but they disagree on how and when to do it. Third, crop protection. Congress agrees that farmers need more government help protecting their crops with federally funded insurance. But the Senate wants to limit these subsidies for farmers who are wealthy or who don't meet certain environmental standards. And the House is not on board with that. Fourth, price protection. The Farm Bill also helps out farmers financially when the prices of their crops drop to a certain level, what they call a target price. Both bodies of Congress want to raise the target price for a couple of crops, making it easier for those subsidies to kick in. But the House wants to raise it more. And fifth, dairy laws. The Senate and the House both think dairy farmers need a new insurance program. But the Senate also wants to be able to limit how much milk dairy farmers can produce. To which House Speaker John Boehner says, no deal. All in all, the Senate's plan shaves about $1.8 billion off the Farm Bill's yearly tab. The House plan cuts almost three times more. The truth is, Congress is almost always late coming to a deal on Farm Bill updates. But if they don't compromise by January, the government will have to revert back to old food and farming laws. That means things like milk will get way more expensive. And we'll be ringing in the new year like it's 1940.